Hi guys, thanks for choosing Roanoke Gaming. Today I'm going to be talking about the Necromorph Slasher. It features morphology, physical characteristics, as well as its attacks, and what it does to you if it does unfortunately get a hold of you. So we'll jump right into the transformation now. Pretty brutal process, I'd say. You're in terrible, terrible deal. Now, as you can see with the transformation process, what it's going to do is it's going to stab your brain and kill you. And then from there, it's able to directly implant the signal into your brain, which is going to turn you into a necromorph much faster than the marker uh, way would do it. Now, the marker way is going to transform you because it sends out a replicating signal inside of your brain, which is actually going to cause you to go insane. Now, once you go insane, typically what you will do is you will hunt down other humans and kill them, and then eventually you will kill yourself. After you're dead, your tissue will reanimate due to the signal, and so all those people <laughs> that you unfortunately took out as well, and that's going to transform you into the necromorph. So those are the two main ways as far as in the lore what we've seen in terms of how you can be changed, either direct necromorph brain insertion or through a much slower marker signal replication. Next thing on the list is actually how the necromorphs attack you. Typically with a slasher what you're going to see is they will attempt to grab you and when they grab you they will either try to ram the spikes that come out of their hands through your torso, looks pretty painful, or they will attempt to essentially tear your head off. Uh, either way, not a great way to go. I would say that as far as a necromorph is concerned, the slashers have one of the most personal ways of getting up to you and attempting to take you out. Slashers are going to be more independent. While you can come across quite a few of them in groups, it just happens to be essentially where people died and where they stayed. You're going to find that most often than not, you're going to see slashers alone. They're going to attack you in ones, but that doesn't mean that they can't make noise and alert other slashers in the area of your presence. So you can see that you can be attacked in groups, and unlike some other ones, which I will do in later videos, like the child necromorphs, which attack in massive groups, slashers can typically hold their own so they don't need to attack in groups. The necromorph is really ugly. They are just mutilated meat on top of a new skeleton, which is going to hunt down people. The typical morphology of one of these is going to be one that only a mother could love, or maybe other necromorphs, depending on who you ask. So, what you're going to find is two different types of slashers. The first slasher is typically going to have arms that protrude out of the back of its shoulder blades and its original arms when it was a person essentially become vestigial and they curl up underneath the torso. The second type of necromorph that you're going to have is one where the arms themselves become the weapons so blades will come out of the palms of the hand and that's going to be what the necromorph is typically going to attack with. Now these two type of necromorphs it doesn't mean that there's not any strength difference between them, they're both just as strong. And the fact is, is that the only reason Isaac Clark is able to push away a necromorph is due to the rig upgrades. It is said that rig upgrades will enhance the strength of the user by much more than that of humans, as well as their ability to survive 
what would kill a normal person. So with those blades that are protruding out of the newly infected person, that's why you're able to survive slashes that look like it decapitates everybody else. It's only because you're rig. As you can see here, the typical type of necromorph is going to have a split open abdomen. It's got the blades on its back and arms, and it just looks pretty damn ugly. Alright guys, that's all I got time for today. I appreciate you watching my video, and I hope that you will subscribe and like, and hopefully watch some more. Alright guys, take it easy.